Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Monday's Minecraft, where I talk about what I've done this previous week and what I've learned in the game of Minecraft. Let me give you a little interesting thing that I, I've done over the last couple months, which is something that you ought to try, at least for nostalgia purposes. Make at least, make a backup of your game file or game world once a month and well obviously as you can hear in the background is 4th of July well actually the 3rd of July when I'm recording this you'll be seeing this on the 4th of July and some people obviously cannot wait but back to what I was saying it's a good idea to make a monthly backup of your game so you know every once in a while you might want to go back and see how your game world was at a previous date in history just kind of like saying yeah I remember when I was building that place or like man that racetrack isn't even here it's just all woods but well you know you get the point it's just fun to occasionally look back and see the way your game world used to be and another note, they came out with patch 1.7, you know, they came out with 1.7 of the beta. And, well, they said it was going to be the adventure pack, but it's not. But what they've introduced with 1.7 is, well, they've changed the way that sheep drop wool. You have to make a new tool, which is shears to get the wool from them and shears can also enable you to get blocks off of you know to get the hedge blocks off of trees maybe with that we can now make hedge mazes I can hope because I saw in a preview a hedge block in the inventory but later when I get some iron I'll make one of those and they've introduced pistons. They've introduced two types of pistons, you know, regular and sticky pistons. A regular piston will just push something. A sticky piston, you know, will push something, but it'll got will stick to the piston. Patch 1.8 whenever it comes out is supposed to be the Minecraft update with the adventure packs. Maybe one of the things that'll be cool that I might like to see is NPCs or pre-built structures that the game can make. How would you like to see like, you know, an abandoned city or something like that that the game procedurally generated for you? Could be interesting. Another thing I would like to see that is similar to the hinges, I mean the pistons, is maybe hinges to where you can make like a structure where it'll just hinge or fold or do something more than just be static. There's potential with hinges. But one thing that I read about, which is a possibility that might be further into the game, as we all know, there's a certain height in the game that you cannot build above or higher than. One thing that he was thinking about was making dynamic height so that the height limit is raised for the areas that you actually build something higher in. That's effectively giving you higher or maybe unlimited height. Anything of that I've suggested, you know, please post below or anything you'd like to see or have you actually in the past made copies of your world that you may occasionally go back to to look at and see what you've done. And as always, have fun and keep gaming. 